This year I started seeds in toilet paper rolls and we're going to go over those. You're going to see a short video on how you start those and we're going to go through the root development and we are also going to come out here and track how well those toilet paper tubes did for us this growing season. Pretty fantastic. naturally finding its way out. Let's see here. And through that area. Let's see here. Yeah, you can kind of see some more down there too. In this one. This is a squash. I don't know what kind it is. You can see though that this is starting to pull away with the white toilet paper rolls. I have a little trouble. There we go. it out a little bit more and look how well all of this did. The rest of this stuff I am going to plant today. I've already started with my cleanup and my setup. Let's see, here's the other things that you've seen in here. And this is probably going to have to be repotted. by some money bets. What I could do is I could actually get kind of two growth cycles out of this, start some of this cool weather stuff, and then three, four, five weeks ahead, go ahead and start doing this. Because some of this is really kind of small, and that's because I really could have started it earlier. I was very hesitant because I did not think that this was going to heat up as well as it did. So now that I can trust it, I can sort of um, reformulate on how I want to do this next year. Plus, I didn't realize how much space four shelves were really going to be in here. I was actually really surprised. The little compartments you can get here. Like if you look at this, look at how tiny that is compared to this. So you can get even more starters if you're doing smaller containers like these free egg cartons. So it's something um, for you to think about. Definitely something that I'm gonna be thinking about and how to reformulate this. But this greenhouse will be going into the garage uh, for storage, I'm not leaving it out. Check out my Etsy shop, T-Shirt Garden Company, featuring gardening, no mo may, sewing, tiny house, zen meditation designs, link in box below. Let's look at the actual root production that these got with these toilet paper rolls. Watermelon over there you can see is just sort of starting to get a little vigorous. Uh, these two in the middle, which has no reproduction, is the eggplant, and they start off kind of tiny anyway. So I am not surprised at all. But these squash, squash are real troopers, man. 
without a doubt. This is a Xenia. Got a couple of Xenias over here. What's this here? This is another. Oh no, this is a sugar baby watermelon. Nothing's happened to this one yet. Okay, and I'm going to put the sugar baby watermelon, since that's going to be the heaviest, right here on this trellis, backed up against the house, over here where the car is, so that maybe the groundhogs will leave it alone. That's my plan anyway. Look at this. This is a little mini cantaloupe. Um, it's Carmen D's Denor, something like that. Something has to do with French monks. And what do we got here? Oh, this is a true chartreuse, I believe, melon. This is the one, every time I say true, it reminds me of Chloe Kardashian's daughter. But we have a lot of good root production. This is supposed to be a little mini melon as well. That melon is on the right. Sugar baby watermelon middle. So we'll see what's up with that. Now I also notice that they will start to unravel for you. Because you have them, I have them, right up against all of this moisture. So... These are about three weeks at this point. They're not quite as big as what you're going to get from the greenhouse. However, it's all free and it is a three week jump start. So we're gonna follow some of this as the progress goes along here. It's 13th and we are back out here looking at the progress of everything that we started in the toilet paper tubes. And this is Nora, this is the little mini melon or cantaloupe and I have got her growing vertically on two small tomato cages zip tied together back to back. I've also got some zinnias. This is not what was in the tubes but you can see you can also grow these in a shadier spot along with sunflowers. They are gonna be a little bit smaller and a little bit more behind. And let me just pan my yard real quick so that you can see just how shady of an area that they're dealing with here. All right, you guys, these are the frog finger eggplants. And they give you cute little ornamental eggplants that only get to be about one or two inches that look like little frog fingers. I'll insert a picture of a bowl that I just cut last night. And here you guys go. This is also the second eggplant that I grew and these are called Chinese strings. They are so delicious. They are sweet. They're exceptionally easy to grow, and you can see they're pretty prolific. They do seem to kind of come in waves, so that's nice, so you can cook a nice big batch of them. All right, here's our sugar baby watermelon. Okay, not as vibrant, but look, we're, you know, it's starting to become fall here a little bit. But look at that, all started in toilet paper tubes. And I had four of them and they are on each corner of this trellis. Excellent, isn't it? Now here's some peppers. I didn't start these in toilet paper tubes, but I did start them in cardboard egg cartons. So, still pretty impressive, to me at least. Here's the zinnias. I did four of these in the toilet paper tubes. They are so gorgeous, you guys. They're heirloom. They're gonna go to seed. 
there is a lot of diversity in colors depending on the stage. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look, look at the vivid, bright color in this. The contrast. I love this limey green and this like 1980s, early 90s mauve that was so popular then. Some of you won't remember that. And look at the stripes. So cute. These I also started in eight cartons. These are sure cute melons. All right, that is the watermelon I kept telling you about. I was excited for. It has not turned out, but it has nothing to do with the toilet paper rolls. It really has to do with its zone five. We get a lot of rain here, and this variety just does not care for it. So you guys, this is one of the best zucchinis I have ever tasted, ever tried, ever grew. This is so nice for all of those reasons. It's easy. It was easy to grow. It was easy to start. Uh, the bees love it. They help pollinate it. You can hand pollinate it if you want to. Right now, I do not have any full-grown zucchinis growing, but I'm going to pop in some pictures. So you can see just how productive this actually was for us. And right down here is the base or the root of that. And it's so heavy, the vines can get up to about 40 feet, that it toppled over, over, uh, excuse me, this archway trellis. It was just too much for it when a windstorm came along. Yeah, if the windstorm hadn't happened, we would be good to go. Also, some of these tomatoes in here, like this Blue Beauty tomato, this Artesian tomato, was also started in the toilet paper rolls. So, to sum it up, does that work? Is it a gimmick? No, it works, you guys. It's cardboard. It's biodegradable. It's free. It's fantastic. The cucumber did insanely well this year. Oh my god. This has been the most prolific thing that I've had in the garden. I will do a full video on this cucumber and the variety. You can see the groundhog's got the tips right here. Otherwise, they left it pretty much alone for me. Just look at all of this in here. Can you see all the little baby ones in the background as we're going along here? Yeah. They grow nicely up this handrail for me. <laughs> Super cute. Here is a sampling harvest of everything that I started. Toilet paper tubes. Let's start here with our zinnias. Gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. Look at this cute little vase with this kitty hanging off the side. Sugar baby watermelon. This one obviously is really tiny. The rest of them, this is the first one I could actually pick. The rest of them are uh, still out there developing. Blue beauty tomato. This is that true chartreuse cantaloupe. Artesian mix, tomatoes, Chinese string eggplant. These are delicious, along with 
these, oh God, Italian. zucchinis these are the frog finger eggplants are they not adorable that's a rather large one let's look at this one here here we've got these general leaf cucumbers absolutely outstanding i started these in cardboard egg cartons these are the sugar cube cantaloupe. I started these items from seeds. This is a pumpkin that honestly I just thought was cute. I found it last year um, really at my beauty shop and I just took it home and harvested the seeds. These are lemon queen sunflowers. I'm going to again harvest the seeds from. These are indigo cherry drops. So look at my little mini harvest. This isn't all of it. I can't eat all of this at one time, especially these cucumbers are such givers. They're insane. But again, the toilet paper roll system absolutely works. Try it for yourself. Obviously it's free. The brown cardboard rolls seem to hold up better because I think they're processed less than those white cardboard roll and um, toilet paper rolls. You guys, give it a whirl. Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety, everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.